and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you this look. This is my go-to like glam sort of look. You know, I want something more than just like a bronzer in my crease and this is what I go for. I find it's very daytime and nighttime appropriate. You can definitely glam it up a bit more and pop on a red lip and an eyelash or a more bold nude lip and a winged liner. Whatever you want to do with it, you can definitely add an put your little twist on it. The lighting has sort of faded with us through this video, so I'm sorry if at all it looks shadowy in some parts. There's not much I can do about it. I use natural lighting, so... And it's the afternoon and the sun went down a lot quicker than I expected, so yeah. And yeah, let's just get on into the tutorial. Alrighty, so the first thing that I always do is I prime my skin. I already have my skincare on. Skincare is important. Make sure you do that first. My lips are looking very juicy. I just put on some lip injections. They're so red too. And I've also been picking at my skin. I had like tiny little like blackheads and I know it can be a bit of a picker. So that's why my skin looks all inflamed like this. I've been trying to like let it chill and let it go down before filming this because it's a little bit ugly, but the sun is quickly going down. So I'm going to do it now. So the primer I'm going to go in with is the Laura Mercier Hydrating Primer. This look I've literally been going for all the time at the moment. And it's super, super quick and easy, so I wanted to share it with you guys. I just shaped my face as well and all the little hair particles going in my nose. Alright, so for foundation, this is my favourite. I can't find anything that works better for my skin than this guy. MAC face and body. When I first used this, I was like, what a sad excuse for a foundation. I thought it was absolutely terrible. It's just so lightweight. And if I wear anything heavy, I feel like I can just see the texture on my skin. So I just love this so much. So I like to work in really thin layers with this foundation. So I just make a really thin layer everywhere. And then I'll go in and build up where I want to. Oh no, I must have got lip injections around my mouth. I'll go over, I've got Pash Rash. And just scrubbing a bit more. I don't really know why I'm putting this straight onto the brush, but it works. For concealer lately, I have been using the Rimmel Wake Me Up Concealer. I don't know what one this is. It doesn't say it on it, but I'm pretty sure it'd be like a medium because it's definitely a lot darker than the one that I used to use. And then I use a tiny little bit of my Bare Minerals Concealer in Fair just under the eyes for a little bit of highlighting and a dab through the center. So as you can see, I have really built up the coverage of my foundation with that concealer. And that's how I personally like to build up my coverage with concealer. You all know what's coming next, some cream bronzer. Not live without my cream bronzer. As you can see, I'm very messy with all of these steps. I don't take too much care and precision. And I just blend that out. I really need to invest in a, um, a ring light or some sort of lighting because it's really annoying because as soon as it starts to go a bit darker in the afternoon, like I can't really film videos like this because the lighting starts to go funky already. I can see that it's starting to go a bit shadowy and it's only like two o'clock. I think it's just the way this room is positioned. So yeah, I need to get a ring light. I do like the look of natural lighting though. But just to make it a bit easier, I should probably get a ring light. It's really hard, like, starting off this channel because all the videos that I want to do cost me money. And obviously, like, YouTube is making me no money <laughs> at all. Probably won't for a very long time. And, um, yeah, like, I love doing hauls. They're probably my favourite videos to do. But they cost me so much money, like... You know, I can't just go shopping every week, can I? I mean, like, I'd love to, but I just can't can't financially support that habit. So it's just a bit hard. Now, I'm bronzed. I'm then going to powder. The powder I'm going to be using is the NARS Crystal Powder. It's just like a translucent pressed powder. And I'm just going to be setting my entire face with this. Again, I like to press my powder into the foundation rather than because then you can pick things up and this also sort of helps 
feeling pores I find if you press the powder in to your skin. So I'm sure you can see that you can still see my skin peeping through. You can still see little imperfections and things like that. I personally, oh, got so much foundation on that earring. I personally like it like that. I like when you can see a little bit of skin, even if it is like the redness of a little breakout or something. I feel like that just adds to the look of like the naturalness. Even though I'm going to be going in with a more so dramatic eye, more of a glam sort of eye, I really like to still keep the skin nice and natural because I just do not like the look of like heavy products on my skin. It's completely a personal preference. If you do, then that's amazing. That's completely your decision, how what you do with your skin, obviously. I'm just saying for me, that's how I like to do it. And if you are someone that likes more natural makeup, but you're scared about having like a little pimple show through or something like that, like do not care. Like, like no one is gonna notice a tiny little imperfection on your skin. And I feel like it just makes you look, makes it look more effortless. I don't know. And then I go in with my bronzer. I have been loving the Hula Light Bronzer from Benefit. I'm so low on it and I need to get another one. I want to get a new bronzer, but I don't really know what bronzer to get. I like really, really warm tone bronzers. Even if I could find a bronzer that's more like yellowy, I would love that. I find it hard to find a bronzer I really, really like. Basically, all the brushes that I'm using as well are from Morphe, if you're wondering. I've been a bit funny about highlighter at the moment. Like, I've sort of been liking skipping the step of highlighter at the moment. I don't know why, but I feel like my skin's already glowy enough and I'm just not really liking the extra bit of glowiness. So we're going to skip that. I'm going to go straight in with blush. I've actually been loving NARS Orgasm blush at the moment. It's such an oldie, but... I feel like it just looks really pretty and because it's got the gold reflect in it as well I feel like it gives a bit more glow too I like to go quite high with my blush so I sort of pull it up here because that just makes you look like you've got higher cheekbones and I like to just put a little bit over the nose yeah I like really blushy skin at the moment now I'm going to be doing my eyebrows not going to bore you with this step. I just use my hourglass arch brow in soft brunette and I just follow the natural shape of my eyebrow. I've really been noticing at the moment in this room um, when filming my videos, they're very echoey and you should see the floor of this room right now because I'm trying to block out the echo as much as I can. I have put blankets all over the floor. I think because it's like a wooden floor room, it just really yeah echoes like the sound and it's really really irritating i'm actually going out for dinner tonight for the first time in weeks because restaurants are now slowly opening they're only allowed 10 people in the restaurant so it's going to feel a bit funny but me and julian and his mum and sister are going for dinner tonight and i'm so excited really been struggling with doing my eyebrows lately i don't know why but i just have not been liking any way that i'm doing them and then I'm going in with my Gimme Brow from Benefit and I just brush lightly to hold them in place and also tint the lighter ones. Alright, onto the eyes. I'll zoom you guys in a little bit. Nice and close and personal. So, for the eyes, I have been loving this for this look. I use it every time I'm doing this eye look. So it's the Natural Lust palette from Too Faced, by the way. First thing that I do is I grab the shade Silk Robe and I just chuck that all over my eyelid. I personally, I know some people like to put their eyeshadows on like a tacky base. I personally like to put mine on a powdered base. I also put a little bit under the eye to highlight. Then grab my big fluffy brush. I use this every time that I do my eyeshadow and I should really grab more of these because I just use them all the, all the absolute time. I was about to say that just makes no sense. So the first shade that I've been going in with is this one here, Afternoon Delight. And I've just been making like a very subtle sort of shape with this shade. 
So I like it on this outer part of the crease and then I just flick up a little bit out here. I really need to invest in, there's just a lot of things that I need to buy apparently, some smaller blending brushes because I don't like have any. So I need to do that. So once that shape has been made, I then go in with this shade here, Call Me Back. And I basically do the same thing, but I'm a bit more careful with it, but also smoke it out quite a bit because I like the warmth of this shade. So yeah, just focusing it mostly on my outer corner. I do bring it down onto this outer bit of lid as well of shadow, and I just bring like the excess in, but not too much. Okay, so that's our sort of initial base, I guess you would say. And then I mix those two shades and I buff that under my eye and just sort of link it up. Amazing. And then I stick with this smaller brush. This one's also from Morphe, but it's absolutely lost everything on it. Um, I grab Set in Stone, this brown, and I just focus this on that outer corner. V shape again and close to the lash line. And then I go on with my big blending brush and I just blend over those edges again. And I just sort of alternate between the two brushes. When you're doing your blending as well, make sure you hold nice and low on the brush so the brush can do majority of the work. And then next what I'm going to do is I grab an even more smaller, more defined brush. And I grab this shade here, Spank Me. And I pop it along my lash line and just sort of blend it straight up into that brown. And then I grab the brush that we were doing the brown with and I just tap over the edges of it just to like blend it into that darker brown. Okay, and then I grab a tiny little bit of set in stone and I just sweep that under my lash line, mostly in the center of my lash line, just a little bit. I don't know, I'm liking just putting the darker shade just in the center. I feel like it makes my eyes look less like round and sort of droopy. So that's what I've been doing. And then I go back in with my medium sized brush and I just go back into Call Me Back and just fluff out the bottom lash line. So I do want that Call Me Back to be, you know, the main sort of color that we're seeing. And then, this is optional. You do not have to do this. You can leave it at this. Um, but I grab a tiny little bit of the black blindfolded and I just go right on the lash line. Just on the outer corner, by the way. And then I'm just going to go back in with Spank Me, just over that black to blend the black out. And then back in with my medium sized brush and back in with Set in Stone. And I go over that shade as well with this one. Then grabbing my big fluffy brush again and one more time into Call Me Back and just sweeping over those edges. And that is the eyes done. I do leave the my eye blank here. I don't put any shimmer or anything. But sometimes I just grab Buff It Out and Silk Robe mixed together. And I just really sort of highlight and a little bit on this inner part here. Now I'm going to whack on some mascara. And just for my eyes personally, I find a shadow works better for me in most cases. Sometimes it can make me look a little bit, I don't know how to explain it. My lighting is really taking a turn for the worst right now. Sorry guys, I'm trying to catch all the sunlight I can right now. It's going dark so early. So then I just grab a gloss to end the look. This one's Baseline from Mecca Maxima. And I just like to go really light and nude with lips. And I grab a little bit of my Glow Recipe lip pop just to add a little bit more pinkiness. So that is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I am so sorry about the lighting. Like it's really upsetting me that the lighting has changed so much while filming this video. I've tried to be as speedy as I can, but yeah, I'm sorry about the lighting. I hope my tips and how I explained it made sense to you guys and I hope you enjoyed the look. Please be sure to subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed this video because it really helps me out a lot. And if you liked it, could you please leave me a little thumbs up down below as well. Thank you so much guys for watching and I'll see you all next time. Bye.